wanted him to do tonight or did he do anything that you didn't want him to do? I thought the president did a good job in laying out what the contrast was. Uh, the president talked about what we care about in the Progressive Caucus, which is working Americans, people who work hard every day to put food on the table. He showed empathy for them, which is what I think is important to do right now. John Good. Boehner, on the other hand, seemed to be on some other world. I mean, he's talking about a blank check. He's trying to blame President Obama, saying he won't take yes for an answer. He's trying to foist blame on President Obama, who has been over backwards to try to work with him. I found his remarks rather, rather shocking. So does the Reid plan, in your opinion, have a chance with the Progressive Caucus? Because all along, the liberals in the Congress, and you're the co-chair of the Progressive Caucus, have said the big three off the table. The Reid plan gives you that nugget that you've been trying to protect all along. Where does that leave you tonight? Well, it certainly does uh, give us a chance. Uh, we do believe it has our basic requirement, which is to protect Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Of course, it does have lean heavily on uh, defense cuts, which is a good thing. But we still want to parse through it to make sure we know what we're getting in for. We know there was going to be some cuts. We are realistic. We are here to work constructively. But uh, it does meet our basic requirements. But what our position is we w was that we won't vote for anything that does undermine Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. But we didn't say we'd automatically vote for anything that didn't. So we got to look at it. But it looks promising, but we're not ready to bite just yet. We're still reviewing the read plan, but it is within the eligible range of things we would consider. Is there anything that Boehner put out in his plan that you could embrace? Would it have a chance with Democrats? I don't see anything. I mean, as a matter of fact, I mean, I mean, the Boehner plan is absolutely ridiculous. It would probably result in a downgrade of our credit rating, even if it did pass, because the credit rating agencies aren't satisfied with just some short-term six-month plan. They want to see this thing solved for some reasonably reliable period of time. So I think the Boehner plan is DOA and doesn't make any sense. How does it and sit with you that there are no tax increases in either one of these plans, that there's no new revenue that's going to be coming in the door, and there's a chunk of change that's going to be cut? Disgusting. I mean, I think that's a very unfortunate feature of the Reed plan. But I mean, at least, you know, the fact is we do recognize we are realistic. But the fact is we have always believed, progressive caucuses always believe that the way we get out of this crisis is that we get more people back to work. We put America infrastructure, American manufacturing, we get Americans building bridges, roads, light rail, all these things that need to be done all across America. And that is the way we get ourselves out of this deficit situation is we put Americans back to work. Well, for the read That's, plan, that really is the devil in the details. What, how far does $2.7 $2 trillion go and, and how would that affect job creation? Because that has been the real problem right now. That's the question. I mean, that's why when you ask me, are we ready to sign up for it? Yeah. I say, I say, we'll see. Uh, it is. It makes our. It meets our basic criteria, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's what we think is needed to build this economy. We're going to look no, at no. it, but job creation and infrastructure and investment is what is needed to get America back on track right now. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. So there Thank is you. some. There's some light at the end of the tunnel for the Progressive Caucus.